Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video we are going to be talking about everything you need to know about backing up your Squarespace website, which is you know, actually a really important thing to talk about and as a web designer and developer, it's a question that I get asked all the time. So I'm really excited that we can be going over this subject today and make sure that any confusion that you might have had, any like unclarity about or uncertainty about various like responsibilities, like who has to do what, what Squarespace is responsible for, anything like that when it comes to backing up your Squarespace website, we're gonna cover that for you today. So, like I mentioned, as a web designer and developer and someone who writes and creates a whole lot of content about Squarespace, I get asked all the time, like, what can I do to protect my content? Does Squarespace own it? How is everything backed up in case of, like, it going down or under? So, this, I totally understand where this is coming from because Squarespace is a wonderful platform, but it does differ from other platforms out there, such as like WordPress or whatever. So the process of keeping your content like safe and backed up and stuff is going to be different as a result. So one of the key differences um, is how websites are backed up here. And you know, we're thinking about the different ways that Squarespace in particular protects live content, right? So that's what we're gonna be covering here because I want to make sure that you feel really confident in Squarespace and also the fact that your website and the content housed on your website is safe and protected. So first of all, let's get started. What does it mean to back up a Squarespace website? And the answer to this is basically that backing up your website means that you are protecting, saving, and archiving your content in several different ways at regular intervals. So different periods throughout the year you're going through and doing all of that. And before we get started on like actually backing everything up and stuff, let's first talk about Squarespace's hosting agreement, okay? So this is what we're gonna dive into right now. So just to be clear, like you own your domain, which is for example, charlotteohara.ca or yourbusiness.com or something, that's your domain. You own that, and you also own the content on your website once it's published through Squarespace. It's, so there's no doubt there that you own the content, you own the domain, but the confusion sometimes happens when in regards to hosting aspects of it. That's what people find confusing. So when it comes to Squarespace, you have a license to host your website and the content on it on Squarespace's platform. So this is kind of similar to the way that like Facebook or other social media platforms work, right? Like you have a license or they have the license to host your content on their platforms. Um, but like any other company or service that's out there, like there is always some risk that, you know, Squarespace might shut down. And if they were to shut down, first of all, it's highly unlikely that that will happen, but you know, it is a risk of course, then yes, as a result, your website and the content on your website would go with it. So, and this is unless you have your website already backed up, you know? So if you do not have it backed up, then all of that would be lost in the unlikely event that Squarespace just like one day up and shut down. So don't let that freak you out, first of all, if you're like, oh my gosh, like what if Squarespace just stops? Like, <laughs> it's probably not a real risk because you're taking that risk on every platform, like whether it's social media or anything else out there. Um, but like, it is a managed risk. And so that's what we're keeping in mind here. So like, personally, I'm way more concerned um, with backing up my website content so that everything is, you know, I have updated versions of it, it's all protected, and then I've got archived versions of that content um, in the unlikely event that Squarespace someday, like, stops working or goes down. Um, but like, you know, this is what we're focusing on here. So let's talk first of all about like what Squarespace does on their end to make sure that the content that you have uploaded and hosted on their website stays safe, okay? So we're gonna think of this as like what Squarespace does to back up your website and content. So like I mentioned before, Squarespace hosts your website and the content on your website. And they host this on their own servers, right? So the thing to keep in mind is that they are taking an extreme amount of care to make sure that everything is safe and backed up regularly on their end, right? So they do this on primary and backup servers, so two different places. And they have, like, if you think about it, their reputation is pretty stellar and they also have like excellent stability. Like, have you ever heard of a Squarespace website like not being backed up and being lost? Like, no. 
doesn't happen really. So when it comes to your website and the content that you have on the Squarespace site, all the files that you upload, so the files, the content, the PDFs, you know, images, anything like that, all of this is stored in a system that makes copies of the data. So this, co this data is all copied in multiple different places on different disks. So recovery plans are also in place in Squarespace, right? They have some, they have a whole team that decides like, oh my gosh, if something happens, how do we recover it? Like this personally gives me a huge amount of peace of mind knowing that my content will stay there and it's up to date and well backed up. And I hope that that does for you too. So that being said, there are several different ways that I recommend that you back up the content of your Squarespace website. And I'm gonna go through those right now. First thing I wanna say is that these are not time consuming or like overly technical things to do either. Like even if you run your own Squarespace website and you're not like a techie or something, that's fine. You can still do this, okay? So the five different steps that you can do to back up your Squarespace website. Let's start with the first one, which is to regularly download your XML file, okay? And if you've never heard of an XML file, don't worry. It's, it's not actually like a crazy scary thing. It's super easy to do. Um, there are some instructions you can follow, which I've linked to down below. And what I do is I regularly export my XML file so that I have a full site map and a backup of all of my website content. So personally, I have a quarterly reminder set up you know, for myself that says like download, XML file or whatever. And I also do this every now and then, like if I do major updates or changes to my website, you know, then I'll also go through and download the XML file you know, sooner than every quarter. Um, and then once I've pulled the file, what I'm doing is I've saved this file and then I want to make sure that it's easily accessible for me. So personally, I upload it to my Google Drive, but you could also use like, um, Dropbox, you could save it on an external hard drive, anything, whatever works for you. The second thing that you can do is to make sure that you're backing up your Squarespace website is to create a visual sitemap. So this is again something I do a couple times a year um, and it takes me a few minutes to complete it but not anything hard. And so this way if I if in the unlikely chance I ever need to rebuild my website, then I have a visual sitemap of all the different pages that exist on my website, and I can reference that. And so I'm not left wondering like, oh my gosh, what were the pages that I have? How was it structured? How did everything kind of fit in together? Things like that. So there's a resource you can use. It's called um, bubble.us, I think. Um, I'll link to it down below. And this is a really good free tool that you can use that lets you like, save and export um, images like related to this visual sitemap that you're creating with it. So again, I, once I've downloaded this visual sitemap file, I will then upload it to my Google Drive, same place where I've saved my updated XML file. And you know, usually I have a, I think I have a file called like site backup or something that it's a reference folder for myself. And then I would just upload this visual sitemap um, into that one a couple times a year or whatever. All right, next point that let's talk about, third way that you can back up your Squarespace website is to make sure that you are saving all of your web page content. Okay, so by web page content, I mean all of the, um, the pages that exist on your website. Make sure that you are keeping track of what text you have, the images you have, any files that you're uploading, links to video, whatever that is, okay? So it could be on your homepage, your about page, services page, um, any products that you're selling on your website, whatever it is, whatever web page you have, make sure that you have a, an, a current outline of all of that content. So again, I save all of this in my Google Drive so that I'm saving all of my website content. So I have that folder set up called website, um, you know, like backup the website or something, but then I have a subfolder called website backup content. And then for each page on my website, I have my own Google Doc. And on that Google Doc for the web page, I'm listing out all of the, the, the page content. So all of the text, the images, the files, whatever it is. Um, and then I also make a note of when that particular page was last updated in my Google Drive or on that Google Doc so that I know how recent it is and you know, I'm seeing and making sure that yes, this is in fact the most recent and updated version of that content. So like I mentioned, 
I'm use, I'm doing saving all of my web page content in Google Drive, but you could use Dropbox and external hardware, anything else that you want. Okay, number four is to save all of your blog posts. So again, this is kind of the, it's the same idea basically. Like, so we already talked about saving all of the web page content, but now I also wanna make sure that you're saving all of the blog post content. So personally for me, every time I write a blog post that ends up on my website, I do all of the prep work already in Google Drive. So I have you know, a folder for all of my blog posts and each time I create a new blog post, I'm setting up a brand new Google Doc. And so within that Google Doc, I've got all of the content, I've got the images, I also have like insert buttons for, or you know, like I'm indicating where I would insert like a file to upload or download, anything like that. So um, I recommend that you do the same thing so that you have saved versions of all of the blog posts that you've ever written and uploaded to your Squarespace website as well. Okay, that brings us to point number five, which I think is a really interesting one that a lot of people forget about. And this is to save all of the custom CSS files that you're using on your Squarespace um, website. So if you have added any custom CSS to your website, then make sure that you are saving copies of those like files or you know, instructions, whatever it is. So again, I have within my Google Drive, like the backup content or like the backup information, I have a special uh, Google Doc that lists all of the CSS that I'm using, the custom CSS on my website. And you know, you can pull this from the like custom CSS tab within your Squarespace website and um, do this a few times a year as well. So whenever you have that quarterly reminder in place, also make sure that at that time you are grabbing a copy of the custom CSS files. Okay, so that is it. That's the five different, or like that's everything you need to know about backing up your Squarespace website and in particular five different ways that you can do it. And I hope that this video gives you a bit of confidence and peace of mind as well. It gives you an idea of how you can go about backing up your Squarespace website. Like I mentioned, it's not a hard thing to do. None of this will take you a whole lot of time. It's not overly technical, but it is, these are steps that you can do and put in place right now that make sure that your website content is safe, that you have updated version of your website content on hand, so that in the unlikely event that something ever happens to Squarespace and your website goes down, then you still have all of that content. You're not lost and left at nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, you can like it, you can hit subscribe, leave me a note down in the comments below. I also have lots more videos related to Squarespace, SEO, website design and development, and other tech tips here on my YouTube channel, or you can also browse through the blog section of my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And again, hope you enjoy all of this content, all the resources that I offer. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.